Hey everyone, I hope you're well. This is Coins Kid. Just going down to Bitcoin. Because the Coins Kid crew, thank you for your warm comments on yesterday's video. I really do appreciate that. Okay, so yesterday in the Coins Kid Discord in the morning, right there, I did post a little short setup, a little micro ABC. Uh, like I said to you, if you do get the close below the 20, it increases the probability just there of this little micro short playing out. Uh, what we did we went stop loss on the high, and then we went short at this point, and we were looking at some kind of ABC coming back down to 26238, eight, which was a good opportunity to take profit on that short, obviously, and then you know counter that with a long, basically, and that's. A exactly what we did do now Bitcoin yesterday it did come down and it bounced off two six two two nine unbelievable uh, two nine eight three I think it was so it was uh, just a few cents off that target that I gave the coins kid crew uh, yesterday so a lovely little short now playing into a lovely little long okay and this is what I post if I do see these trade setups I do post them in the discord this is why you've got to get into the discord and get involved okay you clearly see it came down just there it was around about this time posting the short it came up made that lower high from this side this way you have you stop and then boom we dropped and came down to the ABC uh, double top basic and abc correction basically and you can see the low 26229 beautiful little sweet spot tech profit and jump into a long ride it back up okay so let's dive into the bitcoin chart right now and see what's going on so remember if you do want to start trading don't be a degen don't go in with life savings don't over leverage okay and the links are in each and every single video description and equally on coinskid.com okay i will make some more extensive tutorials about shorting and long in this market and how you can make money on a day-to-day -day basis you know zooming in zooming out looking at all the patterns that we recognize compression lead to expansion you know bullish crosses bearish crosses towards apex as well equal compression and they're always a, a telltale guide you know that you can look at some kind of breakout to the upside or some kind of flush to the downside and in which you can put your stop on the top of the previous swing high and go short or you put your you know you stop on the bottom of the previous swing low and then you go long basically it really is that and then obviously pay yourself on them technical targets being met for example like the abc i've just shown you there that simple little micro abc you know if you were shorting yesterday you made a bit of money and right now you're in a long and you're equally on the flip side making money so it, it can be easy if you don't over complicate it and these are the things i do try and show you on a day-to-day -day basis okay and remember always look for the five waves if you see five waves in any move a micro move macro move or whatever it's always increasing the probability of countering them five waves okay and this is something else i teach on the channel for example just there look at this we've got the three white soldiers right now printed for bitcoin we've got one two three closes above the 20 so we're getting some kind of compression that's going to create a you know a reaction here for Bitcoin so is it a case we're going to get compressed between the EMAs and come back down for another level of support before going this is absolutely possible okay so we'll keep a nice going forward but what I'm looking for primarily to get really really bullish about Bitcoin in the short term for a major breakout to the upside is this white line again okay? I've gone through this many times with you before what we wanted to see at the bottom of the C wave is what we're seeing right now the bullish reaction the bullish engulfing candle the free white soldiers the holding the support of EMAs okay but what we want to see in the follow through to get really excited and really increase the probability okay we found a bottom here and right now we're looking to retrace and start to come back up and taking out the one fib and i'll show you those targets above in a moment but what we're looking to do is just print things in the charts so so far so good data not emotion we're getting these beautiful bullish candles at the moment now if we do start to come back i did say to you it's all about the retracement if we hold that higher low uh you know and start to come back up wow that's even better you know because you're retesting a key low which is this low right now if you hold it wow you know you're looking pretty tasty here this is why i said to you it's a patience game if you're looking for a, quite a large you know leverage trade right there and, and a big big position in bitcoin then i would actually wait for the breakout to be honest with you okay because it's still quite volatile obviously anything can happen this is why i'm taking these small little in and out chances on a daily time frame using the lower time frames basically but the big macro move will come once bitcoin really does break this level of resistance and it is a big if okay uh, right now so if bitcoin was to actually break this level of resistance okay this white line and then confirm you know your free white soldiers equally i think what we've got here is a bump and run pattern which i've shown you you know you've got this drop here the final sort of shake out which we've experienced on the larger macro time frame as well uh, for bitcoin in, in this macro c wave look we've got this big massive bump and run pattern the final shake out which is identical to the bottom of this c wave look there's your low come back up wave four boom final drop oh no it's going to zero this is where everyone starts selling into the fear you know like they did down here so you're looking for some kind of reversal pattern pretty much like what we've got down here possible adam and eve bottom if we do start to carve out this on the daily coming back holding the high low then it's going to increase the probability of this particular pattern breaking out okay and if it does break out then i'll be more inclined to say okay well we might be in another impulsive move to the upside so where will that impulsive move go so as you're fully aware if you've been tuning into the channel for a very long time providing this support holds which currently it is okay i think our target is this level here which i gave you way back there in january of this year when you broke out okay of this bump and run pattern and equally a macro abc and equally the macro falling wedge basically like i said 
said to you the whole way down here, if ever you start to take out this resistance, that's your go signal with a back test of support, that's your entry point, and then boom, you're riding it up, okay, for the duration of this entire bull run. So right now, Bitcoin, if it does break this, okay, this one fib, if it does break that, then my targets will be here, okay? So I'm looking at a run to the 2618. Now the 2618 is always a target if you are in a very, very powerful way free, okay? So if you're in a really powerful way free, the 2618 can be a target. So this is kind of lining up at the moment, a little bit of confluence with this high and this point of resistance on that trend line, okay? So there could be some kind of catalyst here. I don't know what it is, but in a third wave, we do usually see Bitcoin go vertical. For example, if we move to the left, you can see this was a third wave here, which went vertical to the downside, okay? And here, if you take a look, this was a third wave, which went vertical to the upside. So, you know, third waves are very, very powerful. So is this going to be fueled by something, some kind of spot ETF approval or whatever? I don't know, but it's obviously all a game of support and resistance. But if we do begin to break here, this to me would indicate that this is a third wave, which would get, I think everybody would be bullish at this point because you're containing this structure of an uptrend now if you take a look at this this resistance retest that we ran into resistance this is a, just a nominal retest and an uptrend because what you've done here you've got this key support and then when you're broken out you run into it twice like this and you're making a high low looking for compression to go if you start to break that structure then yeah it's squeaky bum time for a larger macro correction but right now there's a lot of confluence not just in bitcoin in many other charts as well that you've just run into this key resistance you're consolidating in a range looking for the continuation of the trend which has began way back last year and then on this breakup with a confirmation that all you're doing is retracing to these points of contact on this downtrend for Bitcoin it really is simple so right now what we're looking for in the micro is for Bitcoin to just get its ass above that white line hold its support get its ass back above these EMAs I think you've got a golden signal right there and we could increase the probability that Bitcoin is bottomed and you're looking to run so why am I targeting that 2618 okay so obviously that's the point of resistance to stay in that downtrend which I think Bitcoin is trying to retrace to and I did give you that target way back last year uh, way back earlier in the year do apologize when bitcoin broke out and abc the double tap i said to you at this point here this breakout is leaning more towards that so i think we'll run into our initial resistance target which is a minimal target of 28k which is this resistance here which is exactly where bitcoin found itself okay 28k and i think at that you'll run into resistance you'll come back in a higher low to break it and i think that's exactly what bitcoin's been doing since april you've had an irregular abc correction here and right now you're gearing up for this big run obviously there's no guarantees if we do break down then this theory is invalidated for the short term okay but i think there's something coming and the charts are screaming this to me okay it's not bullshit it's not hopium the possibility here is a one abc two i'm right now this is a three that's starting to mature Sure. So the 2618 is 4719, and I think we could get there. Now, if you take a look at this point here, this is a one, it's an ABC2, and this is a three four five so there's five waves within the c wave now i know this level here this got to the 2618 because a very powerful downtrend let me show you okay look at that 2618 like an absolute boss so that was a very powerful wave three like i said to you this wave three here is the power that broke all of this support okay and it got to the 2618 on that huge huge thrust of the downside we're tracing a four and drops in a five so in theory we should be flipping the reverse right now you know in theory we this should be some kind of wave two like that was a wave two to the upside this is a wave two to that outside so if we break here and we get the wave free then in theory there's no reason why we couldn't be traced all the way back up in the wave free from the wave free do you understand so it's possible and i can't take it off the table like i've said to you wave freeze are usually the most powerful in any trend direction so in this downtrend the most powerful is broke all structure and support so in this uptrend if we are getting this wave free right now and it is a big if and it is it's quite possible then we're going to break all the resistance of the previous downtrend and reverse it aren't we so anyway hope you enjoyed the update but right now like i said to you if you want to look for some trades do jump into the discord get involved in the community right there um you know if bitcoin does pull back and did equally write a, a tweet on twitter today what is it called now twitter or x i don't know i get confused but there is a key level support that i think could offer an amazing opportunity if we do pull back to that support and everyone gets really really bearish again so i hope you enjoyed that update stay healthy stay strong stay tuned bye bye